Good evening and welcome to Prime of Midlife. It's Tuesday night. Obviously, smiley happy face. We're a happier person today. Thank you very much for everyone's kind comments yesterday. I am feeling better now. I am fighting fit and ooh, not impressed. But first, what I would like to say is to any viewers, any channel watchers who are in Florida, please make sure you are safe. And if they tell you to evacuate, get yourself gone. Do not try and be brave. Make sure you're safe, and if you've prepped, well done you, because that will get you. To, that will make a big difference to what people are going through. So, to everyone in Florida, please take care and let us know you're okay. Now, today there have been more mortgage changes, and there's um, a few other couple of bits that I was going to talk about, and then I watched Sky News. Now, we don't watch. BBC News, because we know, especially if you're in Scotland, do you know, everything Scottish is bad, um, England is fabulous, and let's not tell you all the bad things, you know, I mean, there's been a couple of times where there's been news on other channels and the BBC have deliberately, like, barely reported it. So we don't watch the BBC very often. But we have Sky News, and someone, someone's head should roll for this evening because they had on just after half past six because I was going to watch all the news before I came you know decide what I was putting out there and just about just after half past six they had this person this person right Lord Marland M-A-R-L-A-N-D Lord Marland he is worth over 100 million because their, his estimated value was 100 million in 2020 so you're sure he's made a quite a bit in Covid and everything and they had him as a guest on to say, you know, what are you thinking about the bank rates, about the the tax cuts, you know, has this not put us in a bit of a pickle? And he's sitting there smuggish like going, well, no, actually, for me, it's fabulous. I actually think this is the right thing to do. And you could see the presenter sort of go, what? And I'm quite sure Patrick saw me sit up going, what? He said, oh, yes, well, you know, as a, a business owner, um, do you know, this for me, this makes me more keen to invest in the country because, do you know, with the tax cuts and the corporation tax, because that really used to make me feel quite, do you know, it was difficult to invest in this country. So now that we've not got the tax cuts and the top rate of tax is going down, I'm like, you smug, smug me, wealthy, entitled you know all that sort of stuff i was not happy he just was just irked me so much so then the presenter i can't even remember who it was because i was yelling at him and he's like yeah but what about these people whose mortgages have gone up and you know are struggling he said well you know they've had a tax cut so that that negates it i'm sorry a tax cut of one pence in the pound does not negate a doubling of your mortgage payments or a doubling of your energy payments Oh dear goodness, where do they think they're going? And I, I would absolutely bet my bottom dollar that his companies that haven't been invested, but they will now because of these corporation cuts and the, the tax cuts and stuff, I'll bet you they're paying minimum wage to as many of their um, staff as they can. Sorry, that's my food cooking. You know that when you put a lid on this pan now so it doesn't take as much energy? Yeah, because I have no intention of making this video just now. Dinner's halfway through. But this guy, honest to goodness, he was so entitled. And he just did not, he could not compute that there was people who were really struggling with this. And he's just like, oh, we'll get through it. It'll be fine. I'm sorry, what planet are you on? Because it's certainly not the same as us. I mean, goodness gracious. So yes, no happy with him at all. Just no happy with him at all. Was sitting quite calmly, watching the news, with the dinner cooking, Patrick and I getting ready for dinner, and then this person comes on with his, it'll be fine. Oh no, it's good with this tax cuts and everything. His tax cuts are very, very different from my tax cuts, can I just say. So anyway, enough of that. So my other thing, just while I'm, all, I'm going off on one, um, I read this thing, it was on, I think it was the Sky News website, and it was 87% of Brits are considering bikes to cut fuel bills. 2,000 people were surveyed, 
guarantee you those 2,000 people were not in Scotland or even the north of England because 87% of 2,000 people in Scotland or northern England would laugh in your face if you said that they'd to get a bike. We get three foot of snow. We get ice in the mornings. It is not safe to ride a push bike on public roads in the winter in Scotland for the vast majority of time. And somebody's trumpeting, oh, 87% of Brits would change to a bike. Don't be so stupid. That is just lies, lies and damn statistics is what that is. Just ridiculousness. But just before I go and do my dinner, because obviously you have that's that started boiling, so it doesn't take too long. Um, the Enough is Enough campaign have on the 1st of October have got a cost of living process protest in 50 towns and cities so if you'd like to take part in a cost of living protest i would advise you to go and look up enough is enough which i think is we say enough.org or something like that but yeah check out enough is enough they are doing cost of living protests because the more the merrier i think because certainly lord marland has not been hearing any voices of discontent in his wee world because his wee world is just cushy Julie. Right, I'm going to have my dinner now. I'll catch you later.